The Significance of Suicide This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Avai in October 2010. The Significance of Suicide by James Gibson Hume, University of Toronto. First published in Philosophical Review, number 19, pages 179 to 180. Abstract of paper presented at the ninth annual meeting of the American Philosophical Association, Yale University, 1909. European investigators have endeavored to discover the influence of climate, season, weather, age, sex, marriage, profession, religion, upon suicide. These statistical tables are valuable. We require, however, 1. A separate table for those undoubtedly insane, putting in a class by themselves those sane enough to lie influenced by rational motives. 2. Under religion, those who really believe in some creed should be distinguished from those nominally attached to it. 3. There should be a table of statistics of the divorced. 4. There should be an earnest attempt made to get beneath the statistics to the hidden influences, the moral causes. The commission and report by the Prussian government on suicides among school children indicates the need of similar inquiries into the causes and conditions leading to adult suicides. This might lead to insights that would guide preventive measures. These investigations should take into account the following. Physiological. The influence of epileptic, neurotic, dissipated parents influence of nerve exhausting vices of mental overwork of monotonous employment of sedentary occupations psychical the influence of monotony of excitement of excessive pursuit of wealth or pleasure of disappointments worries of gambling literature the influence of morbid sentimentalism in poetry and prose representing death as extinction ignoring or denying the moral element in life conduct and destiny the influence of dramatic representations of suicide sometimes as in the case of romeo and juliet as the tragic ending of passionate love the influence of realistic accounts of suicide in the newspapers sometimes it is claimed initiating imitative epidemics social the influence of solitariness loneliness brooding the presence or absence of social or family ties the sex instinct and the effect of the perversion or thwarting of this then it might be in order to try to find out to what extent and in what ways educational social moral or religious influences cooperate with the hygienic in keeping men and women in physical and mental health and normal sane and suitable activity even from the present data we may get some fairly obvious suggestions many suicides are undoubtedly insane others are in the incipient stages obsessed with various phobias and probably all are in some degree morbid might not much be accomplished if we could succeed in convincing people of the hopefulness of cure and the need of expert advice and assistance in checking the earlier stages of threatened insanity at present there is widespread despair suicide accompanies civilization and education as an unerring index of maladjustment in society and defects in education True education acts as a deterrent in teaching self-control and in giving objective interests, literary, artistic, scientific, philosophical, philanthropic, moral, religious. The perverting influence of the realistic newspaper accounts of suicide should be checked by legislation. End of The Significance of Suicide